Hey guys, I make a quick update video while I'm uh, feeling up to it still. As you can see, these are the parts left for the Sears. Just got a battery tray, all the engine shrouds, the gas tank straps, gas tanks over there. It's got to get the. I don't even have it down here. Where is it? There's this stuff I got because the holes, as you can see, the holes poke right back through. After I soaked it in apple cider vinegar again. I don't know where the heck it went. It is a type of uh, JB weld. It's made for... Yeah, it's... I like how stuff goes missing. Anyways, I'll find her eventually. Some JB weld made for gasoline, oil, grease, stuff like that. So, we're going to use that on there to fill the holes. But, the tank's pretty clean on the inside now, so... That's ready to go. <clears throat> um, Dash... We got the dash all put back together. I think I'm going to end up having to use that ammeter. It's just going to be what it's going to be. I don't really want to put the old rusty one in there. Unless I can find a short one. We'll see. Going to unscrew the nut for the headlight switch the other day. And this happened. That's not supposed to move. This, the, this threaded piece here is supposed to be stuck inside there. Inside the headlight switch. Oops. So. Um, Lauren, we're taking the nut off of this. And I got one on order at John Deere. Yes, John Deere. I said John Deere. We're getting a Deere headlight switch. Exact same, exact same thing. Um, does the exact same thing. It's got the it just has two poles like this. That's a pole switch. That fits on it because I tested it on my Deere one outside. So we're just gonna get a Deere one, guys. It gets brand spanking new. I know it's gonna work. Done. Now we got grow dash sitting there waiting to be put on. Got the muffler to put on still. I gotta get Chewy Shisher off of there. Got oil for the Sears. Gas line. Grill inserts waiting. Hood still needs a nice coat of filler primer on it. Um, this too. Here is our new... Pick it up from an Irons 4 box. Not too bad. I can get a third one out of it actually. It is... Oh, this thick. It's the ribbed... Rib materials you can see. And just like this stuff, rib material, just a little worn down, so, nice new running board since those are all, you can see the cracks in between the bag there, so that's that, um, finally, got it to get the writing on the bottom here, it's wood burn, I got a box here for old uh, Chewy, Get that sent out to him with the shusher. He said he wanted the shusher. Again, buddy, it's not in the best shape, but I still believe it's pretty usable. A little loud, but compared to my standards, compared to the deer, that deer's got such a big muffler, you can talk real quiet over it. But So all we got left is the shrouds. Uh, this has been my pain in the rear lately. I'm just going to get finish getting the clutch on, because um, I would make a video, but it's like 9 o'clock at night, not going out to the shed. I have the clutch brake pedal in, and I have the little white uh, things on there. What are, I would have gotten this on. This little one goes right inside here. And right inside here, I had out beforehand, is a needle bearing. As you can see, gently tapping it with a hammer and a socket that is the exact size of the outside of this. This, this was so soft and brittle, it just completely bent itself. So, I'm trying to get this back out now. And I completely ruined that lip on the inside, too. I'm trying to get that back out. Um, I had a few options I had upstairs. I was thinking of using this copper pipe. I don't know how to do that. So, what I'm going to end up doing is looking for it like Ace, Menard, something like that. I need a brass bushing that's that size. If not, I'll grind it down just a little bit, drill it out a little more. Get a brass bushing that slides in there. It'll be soft. It won't wear out that there. Or will it wear out that. It's soft enough where the brass bushing will wear out first. And then I can just replace it. So I'm going to get a few of them. If I can find some. So that's where we're at with that guys. Um, I don't know what that's doing there. That's got to go on the more deck engagement. See I got a few nicks and already some off them on the table. Of course. I did get the nut painted. For parking brake handle and the only two decals I got to order for this tractor is my parking brake and my high low the only two ones I 
scraped off and painted over. So, other than that, you know, I saved that decal, that one, and that's the expensive one on any tractor. But in the hood, luckily, these hoods have the nice, uh, yeah, they are aluminum, polished aluminum or something. Polished aluminum plate, whatever they are. Those are nice because you don't got to worry about decals. So, that's where we're at, guys, with all that stuff. Uh, there's a good old pile. 71 Sears, if you finally get your butt out here, there's your stuff. Another more deck bracket arm I forgot to bring with me, and I brought your more decks to you. Speaking of 71 Sears, I had painted all my headlight lens by accident the other day, doing touch-up. Luckily, he had a red one and an orange one. He sent my way, so I got myself an amber-orange one, if I feel like it. And I got a red one, so I don't know which one I like the best. I had a red one. Um, this puppy... I just got done doing a few jobs for neighbors, got some uh, fix-it jobs back, so uh, my dad's actually going to check through work, through their auto parts place, and see if they got, if they can get it cheaper than 26 bucks. Cheap as I can get a new AC Delco one, it's 26 bucks on eBay, free shipping. If you can get it cheaper, I'm getting it from there. Uh, Friday, getting some money on my PayPal. We're going to go ahead and order the head gasket for the Sears, and possibly order that if my dad can't get the regulator through work cheaper. We're gonna get that set up. Um, another thing for the series I realized I had to buy towards the end there. Um, the headlight switch is that's an, um, another 17 bucks from Deer. Uh, 18 bucks with the little 60 cent knob or uh, nut. But yes, I know. Go ahead and completely tell me, oh, it's not original. Well, you know, a 40 year old headlight switch. That somebody cross threaded the nut onto. After 40 years, and you're trying to gently undo the cross threads, these things are corroded, they're rusty, they're old. It's 40 years old. You can't blame something that breaks. As much as I'd like to buy an, an original used one, I I don't trust electronic stuff used on eBay. I will do new stuff, and I still do my homework and do reviews on it. I buy new stuff. That's what I do. Used electronics, I it's not my thing, guys. And this tractor, possibly midway through summer, may have eggs, tri-ribs, and a stack on it. That's one of the things I'm saving for. I was going to get a stack, but for now we're going with the pepper shaker, and we're going to leave it that way. If I decide I'm going to throw a stack on it, but i got to get a stack, and that'll be later this summer. But for now, it's going to be what it is, and it's not a big deal if you don't have a headlight switch. Who's going to notice the difference? You have the same knob. So that's that. Um, the only thing I didn't do is that right there the lever handle for that because I can't get A can't get the knob off B taping it off whatever I'm just going to leave it as is a little rusty but it's just I'm not worried about it but yeah all that's tightened on there good that's good to go the grill is anxiously awaiting getting put back on um yeah other than that guys center generator is down there you can't even see it. See if it'll focus. Right there. There we go. It's got to go down a little bit. I just a generator down there for the SS. That I think I'm actually going to clean up. I might paint. Probably not. Let's get it cleaned really good. So it's not all dirty. Put it back in there. Because between that and the engine, I'm not painting. I don't know. That's the only thing I'm not painting. Because with the Sears, I, I don't want... You can use high temp primer but they don't make the verdian high temp so you're i feel like it's gonna flake off so if you have high temp primer but you also would have to have high temp paint thinking of it correctly i know rooney's painted his engines and whatnot i personally at the time all i've painted that's engine related is the air cleaner cover and that is just on the top and the bottom sides so that's that um other than that, I just have miscellaneous parts. And yeah, I have been putting a whole box of them. I have been putting new cotter pins in everything for the clutch. Because I'm not taking the clutch apart again. But. And another good news. This rod will be coming handy in about a week and a half, hopefully. Some of you know what this rod is. Some of you may not. 
If you guys a hint, goes behind the hitch plate. A little hole behind the hitch plate. You gotta take a tire off to put it on though. Yeah, that's right. Got a three point. Um, it's being shipped out here. Not gonna tell you guys the details of it. A few, you know what it looks like that I'm getting. Probably most of my subscribers do actually, but um, we will just make an unboxing video of it once I get it here. Um, so yeah, that's that. Kind of excited for that. It was one of the three point. And this tractor, all oh, those are the hubcaps in the box. I got them bubble wrapped in there. I'm not using them, so I don't want them to get scratched up more than they are. But yeah, guys, that's that. Like I said, I'll make an unboxing video of the three point. And also, hubcaps here. Be talking to a buddy of mine who, uh, <clears throat> good family friend of ours. He does a lot of, he does car restorations when I have free time, he sells them. He has a few old ones that he has kept that he really, really likes. And I'm going to look into having him actually paint my 110 for me when it comes that time, for the big parts. So we'll see, because he's got a real nice paint booth kind of set up in his garage that works real well. So we'll see how that works out. But um, I'm going to see if he knows any guys, because he has to get bumpers chromed all the time and whatnot. He's got someone who does chroming. He's going to be doing a Camaro pretty soon here. I'm going to see when he sends those out for chroming, if I can give him my hubcaps to be sent with to go for chrome. And, um, it'd be really great if they could be, and that I'd just pay him for what they are. What it would cost to chrome them. I know chroming's expensive, but you send them in a large quantity of all the chrome parts he needs, you usually get a little better deal. So, I will have to talk to him about that, because if he does, uh, that'll be pretty slick. I'll make sure I get all the dents hammered out first, but that's after I figure out for sure. To get all those out, the thing will look slick. And I've solved the issue. Also, I believe, as of right now. I'm not going to put the hubcaps on. Because these are a little rough. I'll wait till I get... Um, I said I'm re-chromed or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Not this rubber material. This stuff, it, it goes through, you can go through it real, real easy. It's real thin. I got some thick pieces of felt. My plan with that is their thick pieces are about that thick. Thick pieces of felt. My plan is with that, wrap them over the little tabbies that slide onto the wheel. And I'm hoping, tabs will still have enough pressure to hold it onto the wheel. I'm hoping I can push those on there. And I won't screw my wheels up when I do it. I'm able to take them on and off. So, we'll see how that works. Hopefully they don't slide off them that way, but we'll see. Alright guys, that's a 12 minute video, you guys. Um... Yeah, I gotta. That's about it from here. Like I said, though, I gotta still get it. I, don't know, I didn't say this, I don't think. So I gotta get a seat for the Sears, and I gotta get a seat pan. Not a seat pan, but a uh, a seat pan for the Sears, and that is out in the back shed because it's useless to me. Seat pan's all busted up. So is the cushion, so. And the cover. But they make Sears hat on there. Were those the. STs I want to say in some of the GTs they had um, when you had the gas tank mounted underneath the back seat the rear seats uh, actually had a square plate one big bolt hole in the middle for a carriage bolt and then the outside and the outside corners there was two on one side two on the other side so there's four bolts on the outside for a four bolt seat you had a big carriage bolt in the middle I'm going to be get, trying to get one of those if I can find one I don't know if you guys know someone who has one. There's one on eBay. A little rough condition, but I'm looking for that because that will allow me to go mount a seat from Farm and Fleet onto there. I would use the original seat, guys, yes, but beyond repair, the amount of work I'd have to do, I'd actually probably have to cut out a middle section, put a patch piece in, figure out where the center of the seat is again, get the hole drilled, somehow get it squared so I can do a carriage bolt. It, it'd be a hassle, guys, so... My perspective of it not only knowing a small few people that do well that do it in their spare time and don't have much spare time. That's where I'm at. So I do believe though we're supposed to be getting here tomorrow. Two to one to two inches of snow. Uh dear I'm not doing anything with snow blowers out front in case because they're not sure the track of it and how much snow we're getting, and that's what they're estimating. Snowblower's out in case, but saying like pancake batter, so that'll be fun. As of right now, I'm just, uh, we're probably just going to drive over it. My neighbor is the same way. 
that I plow for. He he's got four wheel on his uh, Chevy Trailblazer, so he's just he's fine with driving over it. It's supposed to melt by the weekend or whatever, so I don't really care. All right, guys. Well, that's the long story short of it. No, I just said that really weird. That's the oh whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired, but uh, hopefully. Uh, Southeast from Wisconsin branch. I'm hoping to at least make it to the Baraboo show this year. Portage still up in the air in July. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But uh, hopefully here yeah, I'll be able to get to one of these shows and be able to get a banner Chewy had custom made for me. I'll get that hung up. And I'm planning on buying a set of ramps. Throwing probably, probably the deer or the sears in the back of the pickup truck. Take the cap off my dad's truck. Go ahead and throw one in there. Borrow my uncle's trailer, throw another one in there. Bring myself two tractors to the show because if I go to Portage, they got 50th anniversary of the 112. So I want to bring the 110 at least. So, Alright guys, that's long video here. A lot of update, a lot of babbling, but that's what's going on around here and I will talk to you guys later.